Hi, good morning, everybody. It's Thursday, uh, September 23rd. Hope you're doing well. The week's going well for you. Uh, I uh, often uh, encourage you to be looking for uh, God in the midst of your day. Uh, I try to remind myself of that um, <clears throat> as well, not just you, but myself as well. And, uh, and I have to say, this has been a week where I think I've, I've been able to see uh, a handful of uh, moments, experience, have had a handful of experience where uh, in, in small, subtle ways, um, God seems to be showing up. Uh, and when you notice that, it becomes a, a powerful testimony um, to, to God's faithfulness, God's everlasting love that's with us at all times. And uh, I, I continue to think that's a good, uh, a good exercise for us to engage in. So I hope that's been true for you in, in some way. Uh, today we're looking at Psalm 65, Psalm 65, and this is truly a psalm of praise. Uh, this is a psalm that lifts up the glory of God and uh, particularly uh, has some moments of giving God uh, uh, thanksgiving for God's creativity and beauty, um, wonders of creation. And so we'll see that uh, in this psalm, but it also gets, it also gets personal, it gets local and talks about God, what God's doing uh, specifically in uh, in the individual's uh, location itself. So, so we sort of see some grand themes in the psalm, and then some local th uh, themes as well. So, let's take a moment to uh, settle our hearts, so we can hear those things and listen for those things, so we can hear from God today. Let's take a moment. Psalm 65, <clears throat> silence is praise to you, Zion dwelling God, and also obedience. You hear the prayer in it all. We will arrive at your doorstep sooner or later loaded with guilt, our sins too much for us, but you get rid of them once and for all. Blessed are the chosen, blessed the guest at home in your place. We expect our fill of good things in your house, your heavenly manse. All your salvation wonders are on display in your trophy room. Earth tamer, ocean pourer, mountain maker, hill dresser, muzzler of sea storm and wave crash, of mobs in noisy riot. Far and wide they'll come to a stop. They'll stare in awe in wonder. Dawn and dusk take turns calling, come and worship. Oh, visit the earth, ask her to join the dance, deck her out in spring showers, fill the God River with living water, paint the wheat fields golden. Creation was made for this. Drench the plowed fields, soak the dirt clods with rainfall as harrow and rake bring her to blossom and fruit. Snow crown the peaks with splendor, scatter rose petals down your paths, all through the wild meadows rose petals. Set the hills to dancing, dress the canyon walls with live sheep, a drape of flax across the valleys. Let them shout and shout and shout, oh, let them sing. A lot of great images there are in in this passage, aren't there? Snow crown the peaks with splendor, scatter rose petals down your paths. You get the sense of creation at its fullest, creation in its glory, the beauty of God being poured out through God's work, through God's creative hand, making uh, making the splendor of the world known and seen and exhibited. And uh, we need to be reminded of that. We often dwell in places of, of, of darkness or despair or despondency. And, and to be reminded that God is beautiful and gracious and, and over all things. We need that over and over again. Let's uh, take a moment to pray for the day. 
Loving God, we thank you for your glory and for your splendor. Thank you for your majesty. Thank you for, for, for your creativity, the beauty that's shown in your world. Thank you for the love that you make all things with and through. Thank you for the grace that you cover us with. Thank you for the hope that you put before us and call us to to live into. Thank you for the joy that you invite us to experience. Lord, as we look towards this day, we, we, we pray that you would lead us, and guide us, help us to be in, be present in, in all places, tuned into what you're doing through your Holy Spirit, attentive to the people who are around us, Lord, we bring to you this morning um, specifics. We know that you are gracious over all things, but we know of specific situations, people, uh, places, circumstances that we want to lift to you. So friends, I invite you to lift up your prayers this morning to God, whatever's on your heart. Lord, hear our prayers this morning. And so, Lord, we thank you that you hear our prayers, and we pray that you would go with us today. Lord, be with us in all that we do, all that we experience. This day, Lord, this day may we be people who love and serve the Lord Jesus with all our hearts, minds, and souls. And may we be people who love the people that you place in our lives, point them towards the majesty of your glory and salvation. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Friends, great to be with you this morning. Uh, God bless you today. Uh, take care, and we will see you soon.